Hey, welcome back. It's time for another collaboration. Yay. And we actually pushed this one back a week because everybody's been just so crazy busy. Yeah. People have been traveling. We've been moving into a new house. This is our new backyard. Yep. <laughs> we were going to shoot it in front of the RV, but the RV left a couple gone. of days ago. Yeah. It is gone. Yeah, so um, that's exciting stuff. We're getting settled into the new house. So a lot of stuff going on. We're going to share all of that with you in upcoming episodes, so stay tuned for that. But let's get back to the collab. Okay. We have some special guests. Yes. This month, we have Izzy and MJ from yes, Endless this is RV. So exciting. Thank you guys for joining us. So after you get done here, make sure you pop over and check out what they are talking about for this month's collab, yes. which is what we're all talking about for this month's collab. And be sure, after you watch this video, to pop into all these channels mm -hmm. and see their take on this month's topic, which is... Biggest RV mistakes. Yeah, and we've made some doozies. Well, some more you than me, maybe. Well, we've both made... We've, <laughs> I've made the biggest ones, but we've both made some, yes. some big mistakes. Yeah. And it could have been a lot worse. Oh, yeah. I mean, For the sure. mistakes that we made, it wasn't catastrophic. No. Didn't cause us to come off the road or have to be stuck somewhere for a long period no, of time. No, some were rookie mistakes. Because we've known people who made huge mistakes, like leaving their awning out, driving it into a tree, backing their RV into a wall, or wrecking it on the road, or... Going under a bridge, they're not... Yeah. Oh. Not having tire pressure monitoring systems and yeah. having to blow out and just ripping the slide apart. We've never had anything crazy like that. No. So, but for us, it was it was big mistakes. Yeah. And the first one is I'm going to talk about it because it was my mistake. Yes, it was. And it was probably the biggest mistake that I've made while we were RVing. Yes, it was. And that was one time we were getting ready for a travel day, and I go in to the bathroom, take care of a little paperwork and i forget to flush the toilet mm -hmm. and i didn't go back and check that before we traveled so the contents of the toilet uh -huh. was still in there while we were traveling mm -hmm. and as we're traveling on a very bumpy uh, stretch of road said contents got spattered yeah all about the uh bathroom it was a mass cow it looked like uh, someone dropped a grenade in the toilet <laughs> when we got there because it's like, what happened Yeah. in here? Where did all this come from? And uh, it didn't hit me. I was like, oh, man, I may or may not have forgot to flush the toilet. Yeah, may or may so not So guess have. who got to clean it up? This guy. Yeah. So I got all hazmatted up and masks Mask and gloves and everything. And everything and Oh, it was everywhere. It was in the tracks of the shower. It was behind the toilet. It was on the wall. It was, it was very bad. It was. <laughs> I don't envy you. <laughs> I will never, you will never make this mistake again. Can you see the spatter? No, I'm not showing. <laughs> Dude, I can't show it. <laughs> it's like a f crime scene in here. All right, our next mistake was your mistake. This was my mistake. So tell everyone what you've done. <laughs> well, nothing like not <laughs> flushing, but I did not clear the slides before extending them out. Yeah, and normally, Leslie will climb over the island, so she'll have to I, walk I, on the stairs. She'll climb, climb over, over the island. The island. I, I get in the middle and I look at both ends, make sure none of Scout's stuff fell forward, blocking the slides. And you still did that. I did. You just didn't look. I just didn't notice that this one board. From that, Scout Setup. Yeah, that protects the end tables was just a tad further out. Like, logic now says I should have, when I saw that they were both out, I should have shoved them all back to the yeah. wall and been done with it. But I looked, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's fine. It'll clear. No, yeah. did not clear. And so I go to bring the slide out and I hear this crack, 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 crack. and I'm like what is that I thought we were clear we were not. but luckily it only cracked scouts board yeah and the little and it popped, bit of the, popped popped the, the trim, trim off, off. we I had to nail that yeah. back in thank god the trim didn't break itself yeah it just was pulled so off so that wasn't catastrophic either no but that was a rookie mistake to not completely clear it and mistake number three is yours also 
Well, it's like, it's not a mistake. It could have been a big mistake. Let me explain this to you, okay? <laughs> I use the checklist on the outside and doing all the stuff and hooking up and all that stuff. I use the checklist. Mm -hmm. Leslie refuses to use the checklist. I have a checklist right here. She has a checklist and I printed one up and it's on the inside of the little coat the closet, coat closet it and was. it's laminated with her little dry erase marker. Yeah. She refuses to use it. Well, my list, after a while, it just got so burned into my brain and mine is not a long list. Like Did yours, it though? But did it though because well. we wouldn't be talking about this mistake if it was burnt in. but it wasn't a true mistake because we left and i want to say we were in mississippi yeah when we were heading um to florida because your stepdad was very sick and we had to haul butt there so it was an overnighter in mississippi and we pull out of the rv park and we take the left and we're heading towards the highway to get on the ramp. We're on a road, it's probably 45, 50 miles an hour. I mean, it's still a decent Yeah, it's speed. a decent sized ro size road for speed. But we weren't on that road 30 seconds. And I said, I don't know if I locked the fridge. We had already hit a couple of decent bumps and I was like, oh great. Uh, our contents of our refrigerator is probably now all over the floor. But I didn't think that because it was such a quick response. I was like, oh my God, did I click the thing in? To lock and it. I had to go another like mile or two to get to a safe place to be able to pull off. I couldn't just when she realized that I couldn't just ski. You know, I had to. Yeah, we had to wait for about we, a mile. We or did so. get pulled over, and I ran in there. And it wasn't locked. It was not locked, but nothing. But nothing came. Nothing out. came out because we hadn't hit yeah. massive bumps to jar it open yet. But so it could have. If I wouldn't have thought about it, then it would have ended up being a disaster. Everything would have come out that day. So here's a pro tip: use a checklist inside and out. Mm -hmm. Now the last mistake yeah. that we're going to talk about is kind of both our fault. Yeah. And that is we sometimes planned travel days that were a little too long. Yeah. And sometimes in our, it's unavoidable. Yeah, in our defense, sometimes there's just nothing between point A and point B. You just have and to suck like, it up. Man, do we want to stay at a, you know, a rest stop or a or a Cracker Barrel or a Walmart or something, or we just want to push through, and, and we'd rather push through and get to a campground. And be done. But it seemed like every time we planned a long travel day, that's when something would go wrong. Yeah. We'd get a flat tire on the truck, which we got twice twice in our five oh, years on the road. Yeah. And then, or we'd get a traffic, or there'd be a wreck, wreck, or a car on fire, or construction. Detours. It just seemed like every time we planned and a long travel day for us is probably four hours. Anything over four hours is a long travel but day. But we tra we plan a travel day for four, four and a half hours, and it ended up being like a seven or eight hour travel Should day be. because that's just how it always happened for us. Yeah. Uh, so that is our big four mistakes. Yes. And thank God, in the five years that we were full time on the road, none of them were really catastrophic. No, we never had a blowout. Mm-hmm. Never had with the truck engine problems or anything. No. That kept us from you know getting somewhere we're so, never stranded on the road anywhere you see all this drama you see all this drama with these youtube channels who are full-time travelers and it's scary if you are thinking about living this lifestyle don't let it scare you away because in the five years that we traveled we almost had nothing go wrong yeah i mean in the grand scheme of things and that's us moving every one to two weeks yeah so we're moving a lot so just do it have your checklists you're gonna make some mistakes yeah but hopefully they're not catastrophic mistakes. Exactly. And make sure after you watch this video to pop over to these other channels because you can learn stuff and we can save you from making the same mistakes that we made. Yeah. And let us know what your big catastrophic or not so catastrophic mistakes were on moving days. Yeah. I'd love to hear some good stories. Leave us a comment. We'd love to, <laughs> to hear what, what you had. And I'm sure there's some doozies out there. We can't wait to see those. We may make you feel better with our stories, yeah. <laughs> and then you might make us feel better with your stories. So share. Exactly. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of this video. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.